Rex, what's no, he saying? I, the, the, he's covering somebody's butt. That, that, that's what he's doing. Because no way in hell in that situation, the clock is what you're, you're focused on. You're telling all your guys, hey, look, snap it with one second. Okay, forget that operation. Are you kidding me? All right. But you're, you're going in there and you're saying, we snap it with one second. Why do you want a running clock there? Because it is running. Right. When you, mm. when you go, you, you don't take the penalty five yards because it's a dead clock. All right. You want the running clock. That's why you kick it with one second. And, and the fact that it didn't happen, I mean, somebody screwed this up. And there's no way Zach Taylor never knew the, the clock or never thought about the clock. So it, it's not a good day for the Bengals coaches because they, they didn't challenge the play. They clearly should have, and they get the final seconds there. Not a good day for Joe Burrow. He turns the ball over repeatedly. How was this day for the Steelers? It's an incredible win, but it comes at an enormous cost. It's not an incredible win. Whenever you lose a guy Ooh. like, like, like T.J. Watt, yeah. it changes your entire season. It mm. changes yeah. the way you can coach defense, but it also changes the way you can coach offense, right? It changes the type of, the type of risk you can take. It also changes the amount of opportunities and possessions that you'll get. And so when you lose a player of this caliber that it means so much to your defense, and Rex knows this, you design defense around oh, yeah. T.J. Watt. You can do certain things because of who he is, and now you can no longer do that. Just look at the transition of the pass rush when T.J. Watt was playing totally. toward the end of the game. Yeah. Right? It totally changed the type of comfort that Joe Burrow has. And then when you think about this offense, you're coaching this like it's a loss anyway. And now on top of that, Matt Canada has to sure. say, oh, number 90, it's not going to be out there anymore. So some of those plays we got, some of those sacks, turnovers, we yeah. won't get. The, I think your concern in Pittsburgh is fair. The concern in Cincinnati should be greater because your offensive line, your, mm. especially the new guys, got whooped. What I'm not concerned about is Joe Burrow because he had his worst game ever, and he did it by doing what he does best, worst, seeing the field. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.